What's up everybody? You're here with the Fly Guy. Today we're going to take a look at one of my favorite carp flies, the Mud Walker. This fly is really good uh, for marsh environments. Uh, this is back on a past trip that I took uh, where I was able to float a creek, fish a marsh, and also uh, fly fish a lake all in the same day. Uh, all three bodies of water are kind of close together. And even though I enjoyed catching the bass in the lake, I, I just am really addicted to carp on the fly. They're just so much fun. And the reason I developed this fly was to target marsh carp that are feeding on aquatic vegetation, you know, like reeds and grass. Uh, if you ever notice feeding carp, they will knock their head up against, uh, you know, aquatic reeds and grass and knock off uh, aquatic insects and feed on them. Uh, one of those aquatic insects being uh, damselfly and dragonfly nymphs. I am presenting here in a marsh today uh, in this video and you're going to see uh, just the kind of fish that this fly uh, will produce. Oh wow! Oh wow 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 wow! Wow this is a big fish here! Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, wow. Thought I lost it. Thought I lost it. Wow, this is a big fish here. This is a toad. Gosh, I gotta get this algae off my line. I don't have my waders today. Oh, oh wow. Nice fish. Oh, wow. Man, this fish has got shoulders. Nice. Wow. Nice fish. Man, that is a nice carp. So as you just saw, the mud walker um, took a nice carp uh, that day. And, you know, this fly is actually not that complicated. It's kind of just a, a woolly bugger uh, with some variations. But um, I do use marabou for the tail. Just because marabou moves and undulates um, when you're not really doing anything to the fly. And in carp flies, that's a very important thing. You need to have materials on your fly uh, that are going to move when you're not doing anything to it. Um, and it's just sitting still on bottom. Or swimming it. Um, marabou also has great action on the retrieve. So I do break normal protocol with carp flies. And I do put flash in. Um, a lot of people say don't put flash in your carp flies. Um, I mean, you don't want them to look like a light bright, but uh, you also can put a little bit of flash in it. You want your fly to stand out uh, compared to other natural things that they're eating. 
Uh, the shell back uh, is pretty durable. This is actually the exact fly that I fished in the video. Um, it is since retired, but um, I have got uh, a pheno skin shell back uh, on this uh, dragonfly, damselfly, nymph imitation. And uh, it, it just really holds up. I'm surprised. Even with no UV coating, it's just really durable. And of course, I've got a dubbed body with rubber legs. And the rubber legs. Um, uh, when they're this short, they don't really move, but they just provide uh, some contrast and make it look buggy um, and make it look like kind of a bigger aquatic insect. Um, and that's what I really am looking to, you know, produce here. This is a size 6 streamer hook uh, by Mustad. So I'm looking to produce a larger food item that's going to be a, a good meal for a fish. Unless I absolutely have to. Um, I'm not going to fish super, super small patterns for carp. I'm going to downsize my patterns, but I'm not going to downsize them so much that they become uh, ridiculously small and uh, hooks can start bending out when you start really getting down into small sizes like trout nymphs. So this size 6 is perfect. I even throw size 4s, um, you know, for carp because they do, they do take uh, big food items, uh, especially when they start getting larger. So... Um, this fly, if you're not a tire, you can get this directly from me on my website at tfgflies.com. Uh, this fly will catch you carp in marsh environments, uh, where there's a lot of, you know, reeds and aquatic grass, uh, where damselfly and dragonfly nymphs are present. Uh, they will eat this up. Uh, the small lead eyes, uh, that are on here enable it to get down a little bit. It's not going to sink like a rock. Uh, but it'll get down quickly enough that if you need to dap this in front of a fish or if you would like to swim this fly a little bit slowly through the middle of the water column towards the shore, um, which is a very good presentation for this fly, by the way, these little dumbbell eyes are going to help you get down quickly enough and keep that fly down when you're retrieving. Um, so, again, you can get this fly from me on my website under carpflies at tfgflies.com. If you like this video, go ahead and hit thumbs up, and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more fly fishing and fly tying content. Thanks again for watching everybody, take care, and we'll catch you next time.